Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and I was going to, I'm working on this, and I was going to try to put a cut line around the outside, and it's kind of an unusual shape, and this is all grouped together, so I'm going to put it back in the center of the page, and I'm going to go to Arrange and Ungroup All Objects, and as you can see then, the boundary tool comes up. I'm going to set my nudge distance on four inches to get it out of the way. I'm going to try to grab the boundary on the move it out of the way. But you can see the problem there. Then I'm going to go to effects and I'm going to contour to the outside 0.13. And it did that. And that looks really pretty good already. Break contours apart. I'm going to grab our red and just move it out of the way. That wouldn't be a bad cutout right there. Um, but that's not what the video is about. So I thought I'd show you another way. Now we're going to contour to the inside, 0.12. And we're going to get a different look, a little bit closer. I'm going to arrange, break contour apart, and I'm going to grab the center one. Now I'm going to turn it red so we can see it. And if you'll notice, our line is just on the outside of our engravable line, which is too close. So I'm going to grab that one. I'm holding down the shift key. I'm going to grab all four of these. And you can see right here, four objects. I'm going to double click. And I'm going to put in a position inside of outline. And hit OK. And now you see what happened. It's put that engravable part in there. And that would be good enough. But I'm going to take it one one more step, and I'm going to get rid of this little curve. Because that's what really the video is about. I'm going to take my shape tool, and I'm going to select these three, and I'm going to delete them. Then I'm going to select that one and hold down my shift key and select that one. And I'm going to right click, and I'm going to turn them into a line. And it really kind of messed up my curvature. So let's try something else. Let's take this one and delete it. Whoop. Delete that one and delete that one. Now grab that one, holding down the shift and that one. You got to make sure you don't grab that one and right click and turn it into a line. It still messed up my little problem here. Um, Let's just delete that and see what happens. That looks good enough. There we go. Now, instead of having to do that all four times, I'm going to nudge that out of the way. I'm going to control D and make, make a duplicate. I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees. So now I've rotated all the way around. I've got that line all the way around. I'm going to zoom in here a little bit. I'm going to take my virtual segment delete key and delete all these curved curved lines and and because there's a, several lines on top of each other you might have to hit it hit it a couple three four times but now we should be able to take our smart fill tool and fill that in now i'm going to go down and i'm going to left click and right click now i'm going to get rid of all these we do not need them anymore now i'm going to go up and over and there's my cut line kind of unique pattern. It's all the way on the outside. All four of them are the same. It's a pretty neat little design. And I truly hope that helped a little bit. And thank you for watching.